Good morning. Manga and Durian, this, this week, we're going to discuss differentiating linear inequalities in two variables from linear equations in two variables. So, right, let us identify if the following mathematical statement is an equation or not. For number one class, 3x plus 4y equals 15, this is a mathematical, this is an equation. <laughs> Number two as well is an equation because it, uh, it uses equal sign. But number three, number four, and number five, these are not an example of equation because the symbol they used is not an equal sign but an equality sign. So, linear inequalities into variables less, it is a mathematical statement that makes use of any of these symbols, the greater than, the less than, the less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and the not equal sign. It means that the, the two sides of the mathematical statements are not equal. That's how to differentiate symbols. Okay, let's identify if the following mathematical given is a linear inequalities in two variables or not. Let's start with 1 and number 2. Is 3x minus y greater than or equal to 12 an example, uh, an example of a linear inequalities in two variables or not? Number 1 is an example, correct? Because there are two variables here and nag-use sila ng linear inequality na symbol. Number two, even if it's an equality sign, it has only one variable, thus this is not an example. How about three and four and five? Number four, number three naman, dalawang variables, however, that's equal sign. So this is not considered as a linear inequalities in two variables. Number four, that is an example, with two variables and an inequality sign. Number five as well. Okay, let's proceed. Number six is not an example since there's an equal sign. Number seven is an example of a linear inequalities in two variables. Number eight is not an example because there's only one variable here. Number nine is still not an example because there's only one variable and that is x. Even if it's less than yan, number 10 is an example. It is an example. Ayun. I hope you get that one, ha? Okay. Our second topic this week will be graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Last time class, we have discussed graphing linear equations in one variable, in two variables. Tama? There are a lot of ways. Using slope, x and y intercept using two points, ganun, ang daming ways in graphing linear equations. The graph of linear inequality in two variables is the set of all points in the rectangular coordinate system whose ordered pairs satisfy the inequality. When it is graphed in the coordinate plane, it separates the plane into two regions called the half planes. Okay, pag inequality class, Dalawang regions ang tawag have planes. The line that separates the plane is called the boundary line. Okay? Ang tawag sa line, boundary line. To graph an inequality in two variables, the following steps should be, could be followed. Replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. For the meantime, the resulting equation becomes the boundary line. So, if it's y is greater than x plus 2, it becomes y equals x plus 2. y is less than x minus 2, it becomes y equals x minus 2, so on and so forth. Number 2, draw the boundary line using the equation. If the inequality symbols are less than or equal to and greater than or equal to, the boundary line is solid line. Okay, ha? Pag may equal to, solid line siya. Now, what does it indicate? It indicates that all the points on the number on the line are part of the solution. 
pag nakasolid yan, eh, lahat ng mga points doon part sa solution. Pero pag ang inequality symbol is less than at saka greater than lang, it indicates that the points on the line are not part of the solution of the inequality. Shade the region that satisfies the solution of the inequality. Tapos, ishade mo. Saan ka mag-shade? Dalawa lang shade mo. Sa right or nasa left. Sa taas or sa baba. Okay. Okay, let's graph the inequality for x minus 2y less than or equal to 8. Replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So, for x minus 2y equals 8 na tayo. Okay, after that, x and y equals 0 because that's the easiest way, di ba, class, para makakuha ng point. Tama. I am using the x-intercept and the y-intercept. If x is 0, what is y? So, if x is 0, 4 times 0 minus 2y equals 8. What if y is 0? 4x minus 2 times 0 equals 8. So, may iwan, negative 2y equals 8. Sa kabila, 4x equals 8. y equals negative 4. x equals 2. Okay, so if x is 0, y is negative 4. So 0, comma, negative 4. If y is 0, x is 2. So 2, comma, 0. So since, so the points are 0, comma, negative 4 and 2, comma, 0. At the points and draw a boundary line. In the class, if you observe, great, less than or equal to, meaning solid line. Pero pag less than lang, broken line. So, 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. Ayun. 2, 0. Solid line. Solid na kasi naka less than or equal to. Pag may equal to, solid. Question, saan ang shade? Taas or baba? So, now, let shade the region that satisfies the solution of the inequality by testing the origin. Ano ga yung origin? 0, 0. So, we will substitute x as 0 and y as 0. 4 times 0, that's 0. Minus 2 times 0, that's 0. 0 minus 0, another 0. So, 0 is less than or equal to 8. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Meaning, plus, dito na part, we all know manu na dyan, Dito na part, sa 0, 0, dito na part ang solusyon. So, dito ka ngayon, mag-shade. Yan, dito ka maglagay ng si Shade kasi, pag-test mo ng origin, true man to. What if, sir, false ang 0, 0? So, meaning, dito ka sa baba, mag-shade. Ganun ha? Another example. Okay. Graph the inequality x minus 3y greater than 6. Replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. So, t my x minus 3y greater than 6 becomes x minus 3y less than 6 for the meantime. So, let x and y become 0 so that we can get two points. The moment we can get two points, we can have a line because two points determine a line. So, if x is 0 plus, or if x is 0, substitute so 0 minus 3y equals 6. If y is 0, x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. So, negative 3y equals 6. x equals 6. So, negative 3y divided by 3 divided by 3, y is negative 2. x is 6. So, ano ang points natin ngayon? If x is 0, y is negative 2. If x is 6, y is 0. The points are 0, negative 2 and 6, 0. So let's plot the points and draw a boundary line. Observe class ha, it's greater than, walang equal to, meaning broken line ang boundary line natin. 0, negative 2 dito, 6, 0. It's a broken line. Ayun, graph mo na. Next thing to do, basta inequality, is shade. Saan kaya ang shade? Sa taas or sa baba? How to do it? In order to shade the region that satisfies the solution of the inequality, let us test the origin and the origin is 0, 0. Substitute 0 to the x. 
of this sheet zero the y zero minus three times zero is greater than six so zero is greater than six is zero greater than six that is a false meaning as dito na side false so ang shade mo dito sa baba so ang shading will be here ayun naintindihan so that it's that's it that's it <laughs> thank you so much manggandrian god bless you